Some of you who have followed this anti-aging odyssey of mine have asked along the way if I could do a video on my skincare routine. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, I'm a 48-year-old journalist with a very keen interest in aging well. So it's not just about looking young, though that would be a perk. It's also about looking and feeling my best for the age that I'm at. So on this channel, I put lots of different skincare devices, products and treatments to the test. And while I kind of have to keep mixing up so I can continue to bring you reviews, there are a few skincare products that have kind of won me over and which I now use as part of my regular routine. So in this video, I'm going to talk you through what I use each day and why. So as it happens, I'm filming this video on a day where I got four hours sleep last night and my second COVID vaccine this morning. So I'm not exactly on my A-game or looking my freshest, but um, I'm plowing on and I'm going to talk you through my daytime and nighttime routines and the individual products that I use in terms of how I apply them and how they work. And I will include details and links to all of the products that I discuss in the description box below this video as well. So morning or night, I always start the same way by washing my face with this fragrance-free foaming cleanser from CeraVe. And it typically costs around nine pounds for this smaller size bottle. Um, and actually, curiously enough, it doesn't actually foam. But what it does do is it cleanses the skin without stripping it of moisture or irritating it. And it's definitely the best wash cleanser that I've tried. I'm one of these people that I don't feel my skin is clean unless I've actually washed it with, with water and used a face cloth for a bit of exfoliation. And because this one has hyaluronic acid in it and it's incredibly gentle, it would take something really special for me to replace this in my routine. It also contains niacinamide, not easy to say, otherwise known as B3 vitamin. And um, it has three ceramides which contain fatty acids uh, that help your skin retain moisture. So once my face is clean, as part of my nighttime routine, I then move on to the new face. I bought this Trinity model back in March, so that's a little over three months ago, and it came with a hyaluronic acid gel primer, which helps conduct the electronic current from the new face into the skin, but it also has the benefit of helping plump and moisturize your skin because of the hyaluronic acid. Now, the Trinity device itself, which is a, is a larger model, it cost me about £270 or about $325 in the US. I got it from Amazon and it came with the, five, the 59 milliliter gel with it. And you start by applying the gel. Now, I have to say, I wasn't initially convinced about the need for a primer gel. I just thought it was an additional expense. Um, I wondered about just using a hyaluronic acid serum on its own or even just wet skin to conduct the current. But my husband started to apply it every morning and he now swears by it. He says he can see a visible difference in his skin, which he thinks is less red and better hydrated. So ironically, he doesn't use the new face, but he does use the primer gel. Go figure. And he says it works for him. So now we take it in turns to buy the 148 milliliter primer gel and we get that for 26 pounds on Amazon. Now, because I'm Scottish and therefore thrifty with my money, some would say cheap, I make the gel go further by dampening my hands and face before applying it. So it stays moist on my skin for longer and um, I don't have to reapply the primer. So just one dollop of around a kind of 20 pence size in the palm of your hand or 10 cent is enough. And um, I use the New Face microcurrent device every night for around five minutes. Uh, that's about the recommended time. I don't follow the guide with all the moves that came with it, but I do a few sweeps with it and, I, and a few sort of lifts and holds as well. So especially around the, the jawline, the folds around the mouth, upper cheekbones, and just below and above my brows. So I'll do a separate update on my new face results next week with before and after pictures because it's just 
too much to go into uh, within this video, but I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and after I use it, I just leave the primer gel on my face. It's fully absorbed into it and I, I get the benefit of the hyaluronic acid. Um, in fact, I've become such a hyaluronic acid convert now that I also use it in the morning. And I do feel your skin is better hydrated when you use hyaluronic acid and it's just that little bit plumper. So in the morning, I don't use the new face gel. I use La Roche-Posay's Hyalu B5 serum. So that's hyaluronic acid with vitamin B5. It is fragranced and I found it a little bit irritating when I first tried it. So, and spot the theme here. Again, I took to wetting my hands and face just to dilute it a little. So saves me money, uh, but it, it also just kind of neutralizes it a little bit, helps it go further um, and it's less irritating. So I just apply a small amount over my hands and neck every morning. And just a reminder that I've listed all these products in the description below if you want to take a look. So now I'm officially a hyaluronic acid convert. And to me, this one is a reasonably priced but um, effective product. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about how the new face works, the hyaluronic acid primer gel, then I will link to a video here that I recorded when I first bought it and trying it out, explaining exactly how it works. So next in my nighttime routine, I move on to my Medic 8 Retinol Serum. Now Retinol is slightly different to Retinol in that it is a step closer in formulation to the more powerful retinoic acid also known as tretinoin. So it's supposed to provide faster results without the irritation. Now it costs 60 pounds for, for 30 milliliters, so pretty expensive, but a little goes a long way. I've been using it daily for a couple of months now, and I think I might be able to eat this out to just about three months. I'm using it straight after the hyaluronic acid. So my skin is still a little bit damp and again, that helps it go further. So I'll spread a light layer over my face and neck and um, already I'm noticing changes in skin texture, but without the irritation. So um, there are different intensities of this serum. I'm on number six right now and I'm gonna move up to the next level 10. So you can basically increase the strength as your skin gets used to it. So, and for more information on Medicaid's retinol, I'll link here to a recent video I made telling you all about it. And in a couple of months, I'll do an update with before and after pictures to show you the differences in my skin. Now, because I regularly review anti-aging products on this channel, I have to mix up my skincare, as I said earlier, and try new things out. So at the moment, while I use the retinol, all over my face and neck and around this one eye. On my left eye, I'm trying out Ferulic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum for, from Dr. Dennis Green. This is a brand that you hear about a lot. Um, it is really expensive. So for this tiny 15 milliliter bottle, I paid 84 pounds. Um, now you are supposed to use only a small amount morning and night under the eye and on the lid. So, you know, it could last a reasonable amount of time. It's still really expensive. And the jury is still out on this one because I've only just started using it. So again, I'll do an update around the results of this in a couple of months. Um, the retinol so far hasn't been irritating, but in the first few days I used it, I noticed a good bit of eye puffiness. So I did have a slight reaction, but it's been okay since. Um, the ferulic acid in it is an antioxidant, so combined with the retinol, it's supposed to be a kind of powerful combination, but we shall see. So now I move on to moisturizing my skin. So my go-to moisturizer is the CeraVe moisturizing cream. It's great value. You get a great big tub for about 15 pounds in the UK. It's even less expensive in the US and it has those, um, Moisturizing ceramides I talked about earlier, which are in the cleanser too, and it also has hyaluronic acid. And at the moment I'm using it in the day. I've also pre-mixed in some vitamin C drops from Abaji, which I bought at um, an aesthetic clinic uh, one day after having a treatment. Again, it's really expensive. It's about 80 pounds here in the UK. Prices vary depending on the retailer. It's roughly 89 pounds in the US. 
But for example, La Roche-Posay does a good and much cheaper version, as does The Ordinary. So I'm not sure about vitamin C at the moment. I kind of feel that with so much talk around it, it's worth including in my routine. There's not a ton of evidence for it. I think it's just one of these newer products that we are, you know, finding out a little bit more about as we go along. But it's meant to have protective qualities and promote uh, collagen production. I found it a bit irritating applying it to my skin um, directly. So that's why I pre-mix it with the CeraVe moisturizer just to sort of dilute it a bit. Uh, I've put it in a little pot and I use that every morning. Um, so that's where I'm at with vitamin C right now. And um, a couple of times a week, I might also apply a little bit of this 8% glycolic acid serum from Paula's Choice before I moisturize and that just helps uh, keep my skin clear. It can get a little bit congested with the, with the heavier moisturizers that I've been using recently. I'm about to come on to them. I will link to a video that I produced on glycolic acid here. At night, I've been using the CeraVe moisturizer, but that heavier moisturizer that I talked about is one that I'm trying out at the moment, and it is this much hyped Augustinus Bader, the rich cream moisturizer. So I saw, I saw an ad for it on Facebook with well-known makeup artists raving about it. So I thought I'd give it a go and I nearly fell off my chair when I saw the price. So I bought just a 30 milliliter bottle for £125. I got it on the Harvey Nichols website. It's also sold by Name and Marcus in the US on its own website and a few other sites as well. I'm going to link to the Harvey Nichols and Name and Marcus listings. Below. So this stuff is mega expensive, which is why I wanted to put it to the test to see if it is actually worth the price tag. It's meant to deeply hydrate and condition the skin, improving elasticity, lines, hyperpigmentation, and also plump your skin as well. It contains what the makers call TFC8, which is a mix of amino acids, vitamins, and synthesized molecules, and that is a whole lot of science, which is so often the case with skincare products. You know, it's, they just kind of blind us with science and, we, um, and don't really simplify it, break it down for us. But it's basically meant to be ultra hydrating. In fact, it's so rich, I had to stop using it in the daytime because it left my skin looking greasy and it was hard to apply my eyebrow pencil, and that's a complete non-starter. So now I just use it at night. I've only been using it for a couple of weeks, so far, I'm actually warming to it a little, um, but I'm gonna finish the bottle and do a proper update on it for you. Finally, in the day, I will always apply Factor 50 sunscreen, and I have two favorites uh, which protect my skin without irritating it. The first is the Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid from Paula's Choice, which is very light, non-greasy, but it is a tiny bit drying. Um, it's got lots of good plant stuff in there as well, and it is, it's more than just an SPF. And the second, and the one that I'm using frequently at the moment, is this La Roche-Posay Anthelios Age Correct Lotion, which I saw a beauty columnist in the UK, India Knight. Uh, she was raving about it, and so I decided to give it a go. And it's meant to reduce your age spots while protecting your skin. So that's one I'm, I'm keeping a close eye on, and again, I'll update you on it. So far, I don't notice a big reduction in the patches of discoloration on my skin, but it's another nice, lightweight, and this time non-drying product, so I do like it. So that was a lot to get through, but finally, that is the end of my routines. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. I'm always interested to hear about the products that you swear by, so do let me know in the comments. And if you want to see my upcoming videos featuring the results of some of the products that I've talked about today, then just hit the subscribe button and I will see you very soon. For now, thanks for watching.